Do you have a cash cow to help supersize and grow your business? Sharon Arnold's here with my little cash cow. He's got some little rolls of money on him, carrying him around. And our expression, our idiom today is, of course, cash cow. We are doing money-related idioms for the month of November, and today's is cash cow. Now, cash cow is an expression that I grew up with in the 1960s. Peter F. Drucker wrote about and described cash cow businesses or a which described a company or a product line or a business that had a large market share in a stagnant or declining market in, in a, an, an industry that was, you know, maybe not growing, but just kind of staying the same. You can yield a ton of profit and a ton of money for years without further investment, without further um uh, maintenance. So it takes very little maintenance to continue and move forward with a product line or a a business that is considered a cash cow. I have been involved with many cash cow businesses in my lifetime and in my career. I had a product in a manufacturing company that was definitely a cash cow for several decades. <coughs> I think I was 38 years in that business. And basically it describes product life cycles. And we want to have in, as our company's growing and supersizing, as our, we're, we're building our business, we want to have certain products and services that bring in enough money to run the rest of the business so that we can experiment, so we can try different things, so we can solve different problems for people, so we can expand and grow into different areas or in related areas for our business. But we want to have a core competency, a core foundational. And I like to think of my cash cow as the core foundational piece of that. Many corporations have cash cows. I think of uh, big corporations that I've worked for like Procter & Gamble, Charmin Toilet Paper, most of their brands are cash cows. Now, I don't know if toilet paper is increasing or declining at this point. I haven't been in that industry for 30 years. But at the time, it was pretty much a stagnant market share. And we were just battling between the different competitors, top few competitors for market share in that particular industry. But guess what? People are always going to need and require toilet paper. Look what COVID proved to us about the importance of toilet paper and the resurgence in toilet paper just a year or so ago. So the, I consider a product like that a cash cow because the systems are in place. It's developmentally uh, established. It takes very little to maintain and continue the pipeline and the processes and the systems that have already been in pl put in place to bring that to the market and to continually bring that to the market. I think of things like, there's so many examples of this, um, but different product life cycles. You know, we've got development, we've got introduction, we've got growth, maturity. I would consider maturity where cash cows live and lie. And then there's decline in declining markets. You know, as things become out of favor, think of eight track players or cassette tapes or cassette players as new technologies introduced, some technologies become obsolete. Think of the increase in hand sanitizer and cleanliness related products over the last two years. Uh, industries that have were like dying or dead or just barely being cash cows and being stagnant all of a sudden have exploded. So does your business, my question for you today is, does your business have a core competency that acts as a cash cow to drive sales, drive growth, continue to have a foundation of I guess, resiliency and support that will help you with further growth and further development of your business. If not, it's time to find one. It's time to look for one. Uh, a lot of businesses just add a level of service or a higher uh, ticket item to their offering in order to have that be a cash cow. I think personally of coaching and consulting as being a cash cow because it's a high ticket thing that you can offer people uh, in almost any industry, any business, any walk and area of life that can bring in a lot of money into your business. And I don't believe that it's a declining market. I believe that coaching and consulting and personal development are, are hugely exploding markets. So whether they actually fit Peter Drucker's description of a cash cow or not is up to us to decide. But <laughs> it's a perfect way to add something to your business that will help you to supersize and grow it in a way that doesn't necessarily add a whole lot of infrastructure and cost to your current offerings, your current business model. All right. I'd love to know what you're doing and what your cash cow is. Share in the comments below. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? Money related, of course, and how might you use it in your business and your life right now? Have an amazing day.